Schmitty's my name, Quiplash is my game. And it's your game, assuming you've paid for it. I've already come up with a mnemonic to remember all your names, and it is filthy. Let's get started. This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who wins. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Running out, think fast or use a safety quip. Let's take a look. Starting us off, the title of a TV drama about a farmer who becomes a cop. Okay, select your favorite quip. Moving on, the one thing that depresses Popeye. Coming up next, George Washington's biggest complaint about having wooden teeth. Time to vote. Next one, a cocky thing to do on your first day working at Victoria's Secret. Next on the list, the most important part of a hillbilly wedding. Okay, vote. Next on deck, an odd headline to see on the cover of Cosmo. 17 tricks for blank. Put in your votes.
That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. <laughs> round two is upon us, and all points are doubled. Take that, round one. Running out, use a safety clip if you need it. All right, let's have a look. Number one on the list the saddest thing to say with a voice full of helium. Okay, pick your favorite clip now. Okay, next one. A fun thing to do in a grocery store when no one is looking. Float away. Up next, something you don't usually see on engaged couples registry lists. Vote now. Next in line, the wrong thing to say to the kidnappers who have your husband. And vote. Next prompt, you know your baby boy is growing up too fast when he starts to blank. Vote on your devices. Next up, a terrible name for a hotel, the Blank Inn. Get to voting.
round two is over. Let's see who came out on top. That's right, it's round three, the last lash. Look alive because you're all getting the same prompt this time. Finish the comic. Let's see the responses. Each of you has a gold medal to award to your favorite quip. Make your picks now. Okay, let's bring out those medals. Okay, let's change those medals into points. That's the game. Let's see the final scores.
Greetings, and welcome to Quiplash. <laughs> Guys, don't feel like you have to be extra funny to impress me. My expectations are already very low. <laughs> Time for round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! out of time. Use the safety quick button if you have to. <laughs> Let's start this show. Our first prompt is the last thing you want to hear while in a tent. Okay, choose your favorite. Sex. It's voting time. a Mortal Kombat character, their special move would be this. Ready, set, vote! about being Justin Bieber's bodyguard. Time to vote. to blurt out when watching a movie sex scene with your parents. Okay, vote. Oh. 
And next is forget carpooling. They should build a special driving lane just for blank. And vote. Next on deck, a terrible scent for a car freshener. It's voting time. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Use a safety fit if you can't think of anything. <laughs> Time for the big reveal. The first prompt is... How Matthew McConaughey stays in such great shape, probably. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Next in the hopper, a good reason to give a restaurant a zero star review. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, something found in the seat cracks of nearly every cab. Load away. Moving on, 
Something you might find in George W. Bush's living room. Vote now. Moving on, what ruined your hot air balloon ride? Put in your votes. Next on the list, an odd thing to find in a cave painting. Get to voting! Up next, the downside of being named Tom King. Vote now. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Complete the comic. We're ready to look. Give out your medals now. Okay, let's see who got those medals. Bronze first. Show me the silver. And finally, gold. Great, let me just turn those medals into points for you.
And we're finished. Show me those final scores. <laughs> Welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and I have nothing better to do right now. First thing, I just want to clear up a few rumors. Very few players have died on my watch, and the ones that have deserved it. This is round one. The more people who vote for your answer, the better your score. Let's go. Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Let's see what we're working with. Prompt number one is what the 13th month would be called. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. Rejected first draft line from The Shining. Here's blank. Vote on your devices. Next in line, what Burt Reynolds' mustache would say if he could talk. And vote. Your next prompt is, if you pull your uncle's finger, he farts. If you push it, he blank. Put in your votes. Okay, next one. Something David Schwimmer probably repeats to himself every day. It's voting time. Next up, 
up. If Michigan is shaped like a hand, Texas should be shaped like a blank. Time to vote. Next one, the worst TV program, Blank Dance Party. Vote away. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> now for round two. Double the points and bonuses, double the excitement. Running out, use a safety clip if you need it. <laughs> Time to share. First off, a sign you never see honk if you are blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Okay, next one. The best part of being an 1800s fur trapper. Ready, set, vote. Next in line, a strange thing for a ghost to whisper in your ear. Okay, vote. Moving on, first draft movie line, frankly my dear, I blank. 
load on your devices. Procedure that not even the slimiest plastic surgeon will do. It's voting time. Catch on fire, remember, stop, drop, roll, and then blank. Ready, set, vote. inappropriate place to have a mechanical bowl. Put in your votes. That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went. <laughs> round three, the last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. Complete this comic. Let's see what you've wrought. Let's give out some medals. yourselves here come those medals here's the silver and the gold let's sell off those medals for points
Okay, let's see those final scores. Welcome to Trivia Night, a dark, dark reckoning, but without all the preachy morality of those other serial killers. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Don't forget, you can still join the audience at any time. What else? Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting key information that would help you stay alive. Oh well, let's just start. Okay, first question. How many blocks comes in a box of Jenga? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you. Let's play a game. Welcome to the killing floor. Now it's time to flex your creative muscles. Every little line will be scrutinized. Fashionable. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished.
Even a stick figure's better than nothing. Come on already! <laughs> I see not everyone bothered to draw something. That's not good. <laughs> you know, it really makes me angry when your refusal to participate reveals certain inherent flaws in my basic game design, so please, yeah, don't do that. This is where I keep track of all the scores. On this board. I call it a scoreboard. Please don't steal that name from me. Alright, next question. What river runs through Perry? Surprise for you! Hello, Guten Tag! Welcome back to the killing floor! Let me ask you a question. Your answer is very important. What do you want to be buried with? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Slower than George R.R. R. Martin. Come on! <laughs> now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no sir, no. I will have none of that. <laughs> Time's running out. Just pick an answer that you don't like. are in. It's never really easy to put yourself out there like you did, but oh well. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. I mean, I was a ghost for a while, but I got better. Back to the scoreboard. I've got more questions for you. Which Monty Python film came out first? And the correct answer is... this one. Let's go someplace fun. I knew buying this wheel would be worth it. Don't get all conscientious objector on me now. Oh, I just love it when she spins! You'll die as you lived. A slave to random chance. How about this? How many different languages are there on the Rosetta Stone? It's time for math! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Whoever does the worst 
dies. Let's get this math party started. Stop counting with your fingers, it's sad. You're approaching the math finish line. Brace yourself. Oh no, now you're a math ghost. I hope there aren't any kids playing right now. I don't mean to judge parents, but we should really limit our kids' screen time. Here's another one. What classic movie is set on Amity Island? Let's play the finger cutting game. This one's a little ooky. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. My dog could do it, but he doesn't have fingers. Chop. Ah! We do have fun here. Nice score, audience. FYI, that was sarcasm. Let's try another one. What's the name of the movie within a movie that's based on the events of the Scream movies? Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience, too. One. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. It's not hard, people. Put the poison in the cup. I was doing this when I was five. Some of you didn't use your poison pellet, so I'll have to add a few of my own. You know, these poison pellets aren't cheap, so if you don't use them, it's like really wasteful. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I keep thinking I should get a set of matching chalices, but each of these tells a unique story, you know? You still have a chance to survive, but you have to drink. Ah! Yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. This is gonna hurt. Nothing beats the smooth, refreshing taste of poison. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Hawaiian Islands. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Decisions, decision. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. 
Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you.
You want some more, huh? I can do this all day. Well, within reason. I have a life outside this dungeon, you know. Okay now, first question. Which butler did PG Wodehouse create? answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. You're in for a treat. Welcome to the killing floor. Look at that! A pile of money on the floor! Yeah, I guess that is an impressive amount of cash to have. Take as much money as you want, but take the most money or the least money and you'll be sorry. Take what is yours. Do you not yeah. like money? Pick something. <gasps> How much did everybody take? It's punishment time for the most and least greedy. Cash really shows our true colors, doesn't it? <laughs> Whittled down to one already? Crap, this was faster than I expected. Okay, don't freak out. You can do this. You just have to stall a bit. All right then. If you can survive the next two questions, I think the final round should finally be ready to go. It's worth the wait. Trust me. And before I forget, let's check in with that audience. Ooh, a strong early showing audience. Let's try this again. I'm gonna treat myself to a little picnic by the lake tomorrow. I've earned it. What kind of food should I pair with my bottle of rosé wine? And the correct answer is... This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I have a surprise for you. Welcome back to the killing floor. It's time to use your words. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It was really hard to find good cues to cut out. But I will be very disappointed if you can't find at least a five-letter word. Spell words now! By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Better find something. Let's see what you could come up with. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Well, looky here, all dead before the final round. What a waste. It was gonna mess you up. Oh well. Terrible tragedy. I wouldn't go up to that old barn if I were you. Rumor has it, some awful things happened there. A game of wits, but with this weird guy who subjected people to terrible jokes. I heard he even had writers. Terrible writers. Six people died. Why is it always the dumb ones that suffer? I also hear there was an audience playing along. One person. 